In the exhibit Timeless Renaissance at the Halifard Museum, people are going to find exhibited and displayed for the very first time a most amazing collection of approximately 90 drawings originally made from the 15th to the 18th century. It's a rare opportunity to have Renaissance-related artworks displayed in Oregon, and more particularly in Salem. The first time I went to the little charming town of Monte San Giusto in Italy, it was April 2008, I didn't know what I was about to see. I went there to visit a totally different artwork. I was interested in different frescoes. And once I arrived there, I was friendly invited by the Secretary of Fine Arts to go and visit the library because according to his own words, there were some papers there. So they didn't know exactly what they did possess. I still remember very, very well the very moment I looked at these drawings for the first time. I, I could barely control myself because I was so overwhelmed by joy, by surprise, that I started shaking, literally, because I did recognize, for instance, artworks by Guido Reni, by Giorgio Vasari, by one of the closest collaborators of Raphael, that is to say, Perin del Vaga. So even though at that moment I didn't know how important the collection as such was, I did know that I had to do with very magnificent and important artworks. The same collection used to be framed here and displayed in eight gigantic frames. So that's the very moment in which, right after Alessandro Maggiore's death in 1834 to 1925, for almost 100 years, the drawings, they were kept here glued randomly without any cure, without any attention, one upon the others. And they were displayed in the City Hall Council Hall. Alessandro Maggiore, the art collector, he had a very precise aesthetic goal in his mind. He wanted to collect, he wanted to gather the most important examples of artistic perfection that were available on the market in late 18th century Italy. And he had in his mind a very specific plan. He wanted to build backward the very tradition of Italian Renaissance. And according to him, the utmost example of perfection was Raphael. This is a very good example of the restoration that all artworks displayed in this exhibit, they have gone through. In fact, this little drawing is so delicate and so fragile that part of the original paper have been completely erased, if not destroyed over time. So first of all, we had to transfer part of the surface on another sheet in order to create a stability for the drawing. And then after that, we went to clean all sorts of accumulated dirty over time. What we have here is a very subtle, almost invisible representation of a gracious face of a woman. And needless to say, it is so close to Raphael as a model. Raphael, he was a special because according to Alessandro Maggiore, Raphael was not only the master of beauty, more importantly, he was the master of grace. This drawing, once again, is a very good example of a drawing in which both sides of the paper have been used by the master. And both sides, one representing a face and the back representing a torso of a male figure, they are both related to Raphael. In a way, or another, Raphael was the very subtext of all artworks presented here.